back on your decades in leadership, how do you want your legacy, your time serving in leadership to be remembered? Well, that's a whole subject. Perhaps I'll close with that. But uh, nothing in any of the years that I was there compares to the uh, Affordable Care Act, expanding health care to, uh, to tens of millions more Americans, 150 million families having better benefits, lower cost, uh, and, and no pre-existing condition risking their access, and uh, no lifetime limits being a woman, no longer a pre-existing condition. So uh, that really was central because it's a health issue. It's an economic issue, a financial health issue for families. And it's a values issue for our country. So that, for me, was the, the highlight. Uh, the fact that it took inside-outside mobilization, as I mentioned about the LGBTQ issues, uh, is was demonstrated also at my unveiling of the portrait yesterday, is that what you call it, unveiling? And uh, when our guest spoke about what it meant to her to have a child with disabilities, $3 million in the first mo six months of her life uh, for the care that she needed, but with the knowledge that all the other care that would be needed would not be subject to uh, federal, uh, to insurance company limits, and she would not be charged with a pre-existing condition. So again, what we do together, the country. We had 10,000, of which the little lobbyists, and that's what she was representing, uh, 10,000 events in the country in support of saving the Affordable Care Act. So it was not only pass building up to it, passing it, but saving it. So that took a lot of my time. Yes, ma'am.